I'm Anil Kumar. In this particular video, I'll take two examples with nested square roots, right? So one of them is shown here, which is we need to find dy dx of the function with square root of x within that another square root of x within that another square root of x. And then we'll take up another example, which is going to look like this, right? So let me start with a simpler one first. So let's do this when uh, the x's are being multiplied within the square root. And let us see how to find derivative of such a function. So what we are given here is f of x is equal to square root of x and within that square root of x within that square root of x. Now, since all of them are multiplying, we can apply the power rules and simplify. So the concept here is to simplify the expression using power rule of exponents, right? So you could treat this as kind of like this. This is like square root of x. That means x to the power of half. So, so let's look from the inside out. So we have x here and then we have square root of x. Let me write this as x to the power of half. I'm going in very simple steps just to show you how we derive at our simplification or combination of these exponents, right? So we have square root of x and now this is like product, correct? So you can add the exponents. So what we get here is x to the power of 1 plus half, which is 3 by 2, correct? 3 by 2. And we have to do square root of that. Square root of this really means, really means to the power of half, right? So it is like x to the power of 3 by 2 to the power of half. Perfect. So basically you're going to multiply it. So what you get here is x times x to the power of multiplying half by 3 by 2 gives me 3 by 4. Does it make sense to you? And again, what you arrive at is product of x and x with powers 1 and 3 over 4. So if you do that, you get x to the power of 3 over 4 plus 1, which is 7 over 4. And half of that gives you the result as x to the power of 7 over 8. So the expression which we began with can be written as equal to x to the power of 7 over 8. Doesn't make sense to you. Now this is simple, right? So now you can say that the derivative of this function is, apply the power rule, 7 over 8, x to the power of 7 over 8 minus 1, which is minus 1 over 8, right? And if you want to write, you can write this as 7 over 8 and 8th root of x. Do you get it? So that is how it could be done. Now let me show you an alternate way of doing this simplification also, right? So let's do it once more in a different fashion. So what we are given here is f of x equals to, all these are kind of square roots, right? So let me begin from the inside out again. So it is kind of x to the power of half, right? This is square root times, times x and all this to the to the power of half, correct? And then again times x and then all this to the power of half. So we could also treat it like this and then do it. Now inside half plus 1 is 3 by 2. So we get x to the power of 3 by 2 to the power of half. Do you see that? Times x, everything to the power of half. So instead of writing square roots, you could write as powers and then do it, which is x times x to the power of 3 by 4, right, to the power of half. Now that gives you x, you have to add this up, right, so x to the power of 3 over 8. I mean, first you add them up, so 7, right, 7 over 4 to the power of half, which is x to the power of 7 over 8. So you get the same result uh, using exponent form, perfect. So in, anyway, you have understood how you could solve such a question. Perfect. Now let's take the next one. 
you can actually pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestions now here is a very interesting question we need to find derivative of the function square root of x cubed plus square root of 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 so we have nested square roots to work with let us see how to apply a chain rule to find this derivative correct so what we are given here is let me write this in terms of y so we are given y equals to square root of x cube plus square root of 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 right so these are all square roots to find the derivative dy dx let's differentiate both sides with the derivative so the outer derivative is is what you get is something like this 1 over 2 and everything comes in the denominator which is kind of square root of uh, x cube plus square root of 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 right times derivative of inside function right times derivative of inside function now let me write one here and we'll write d dx of inside function which is x cube plus uh, square root of 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 is it okay so that becomes the expression now we could write this as 1 over 2 times square root of x cube plus square root of 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 the derivative of this function is x cube is 3x square so we're done with this plus derivative of this will be 1 over all this which is um, square root of 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 right times derivative of the inside function which is 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 perfect bracket close so we can now write this as 1 over 2 square root of original function x cubed plus square root of 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 times 3x square and uh, now we'll find the derivative of this plus uh, we know this denominator let's write down this denominator here which is 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 now derivative of this is 2 times 5 is 10 so we write 10 x to the power of 4 plus derivative of this which is which we can write as 1 over 2 square root of x minus 1 okay so so that becomes the the expression Now, of course, what you can do here is you can bring this term in the denominator and kind of simplify it a bit, right? So, but anyway, what you got is, is a good enough uh, simplified example. So, we'll rewrite this in a way. So, what we have here is, so I'll write like this. Uh, let me write this as 1 over 2 square root of x cubed. Let me push this page a bit, okay plus square root of 2x to the power of 5 square root of x minus 1 right and here we have 3x square plus we'll bring this down we already have one square root uh, which is 2x to the power of 5 plus square root of x minus 1 times 2 square root of x minus 1 and that gets multiplied with 10 to the power of x to the power of 4 times 2 2 will make it 20 okay square root of x minus 1 plus 1 does make sense to you so that becomes our kind of simplified solution for the given question so the idea here is whenever you have nested roots you 
have to multiply by the derivatives of inside terms applying the chain rule to get the result. So I hope uh, the system is clear, the process is clear. Feel free to share your comments and views and if you like and subscribe, that will be great. Thank you and all the best.